teens facing big charges tonight, accused of beating a man with a baseball bat. Deputies say the guy confronted the teens as they were breaking into cars. Good evening to you. I'm Matt Austin. Lisa Bell has the night off. The teens are charged with attempted murder. Tonight we've been digging, trying to learn more about them. News six is Troy Campbell is live outside the Lake County Sheriff's Office. And Troy, you got a hold of one of those boys' parents. Well, Matt, the mother of 16 year old Chase Wood says her son used to be active in sports, saying she's now shocked by hearing the details of what her son is allegedly what he did Saturday. He's like laying down in the middle of the street getting kicked and everything. I don't know if he's okay or not. Neighbors in this Mount Dora neighborhood calling for help as 46 year old William Pelkey was repeatedly hit with a bat after confronting these three teens breaking into cars on a street. Here's a picture of one of those suspects, 16 year old Chase Wood. Family describing Chase as a good kid, seen here several years ago while playing for an Apopka baseball little league team. The teen's family saying he recently started down the wrong path. His mother moving him from Apopka to Lake County to get a fresh start. Wood alongside his 14 year old girlfriend, Lauren Eubanks, and his best friend, 16 year old Wesley Carlson, all facing charges of attempted murder. Do we know if it's a fist fight or yeah. a... Yeah, they were pushing and shoving each other. The dog started barking. I looked out the window. They were right in the front of the house, right in the street. The teen's family telling News 6 the two boys snuck out of the house Saturday night. Wood denying to his family over the phone that he did anything wrong, saying the victim randomly started chasing them with a bat. A neighbor saying this surveillance video shows the teens breaking into his vehicle. Lake County deputies say the teens broke into at least a dozen cars before the attack. We heard some commotion in the street, and I went out, and her car's been broken into. I can hear them about a block down the road screaming and fighting around in the street right now. Wood's mother also says she wants the victim and his family to know that she is heartbroken by the pain that his family is going through. And she said she is praying for his recovery. Matt. 